Hi guys, thank you very much for joining me. And in today's episode, we're going to show you how to paint this metallic style red armor. Hi guys, thank you very much for watching. If you do like the content, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing and all the good stuff you can do here on YouTube. Right, so today's episode, I am going to slowly turn that around when using my fingers. Uh, we're going to basically show you how to paint this particular red armour. Um, this red armour is quite nice, especially uh, to use on Blood Angels or I like to use them on the Battle Scissors, of course. Um, but you can also use it on uh, orcs on some of the armor plates before you start doing some chipping. And it even works on some chaos warriors or maybe even some calm berserkers. But to achieve this effect, it's you do. I have to use an airbrush for this, so I do consider this an airbrush tutorial. And what we're going to do is to show you what products we're actually using and how we use them to achieve this lovely red metallic glow. So one of the first things we do is start with the undercoat. So I've got a brand new Dominion squad which I'm painting up for a crusade that's going to be upcoming. Um, basically what I've done with the uh, squad is just to spray, assemble them all and of course spray them completely black head to toe ready for the next stage. Now the next stage is to use Green Stuff's World Mystic White. No it's not. Yes it is. Yes it is. Mystic White which is, <laughs> apologies, uh, which is a metallic white. And it actually allows to it allows you to sort of get that nice sort of metallic glow while using non-metallic colours over the top of it. So what I do is to airbrush this in a xenophil format. I've got another paint as well because that one's getting a bit old now. Um, and we're going to paint that over in a xenophil sort of pattern. Now that we've done the Xenophil pattern, we just need to spray Blood Angels Red uh, contrast paint through the airbrush itself. This will give us the nice red. You have to do it, build it up in layers, but it will give you the nice red that we're currently after. And this is the effect that you get after you've applied the red. Uh, you do have to go back in, of course, paint everything in. That's not going to be red. But it's not that shiny at the moment. It might be on camera, but it's actually quite dull because it can be quite mattish um, or like a satin finish to a lot of the contrast, paint, the contrast paints. Well, we sort of don't end up too glossy. What we do after that is once the model is finished, we give it some gloss varnish from the Leho Mecha Color. I'll zoom out a little bit on there and once that's dried then of course that's when you get the lovely red that you saw earlier well thank you very much for watching guys please like share subscribe hit that notification button if you do want to see more and we'll see you in our next video